Welcome back to another video and today with a really cool gadget. This is a starter kit for the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi, which is this board right over here. We also have an LCD display and a temperature and humidity sensor on this breadboard, which is huge for this small project. But of course, this is a starter kit. It comes with a lot of sensors. For example, this one near my finger, it is a raindrop sensor. There's also a soil humidity or moisture sensor and a lot more sensors and accessories that we will require to do our project. Now, this project right over here is a simple project. There are other ways to accomplish this, but for example, I could remove the LCD display and I could send this info right over here to home assistance. And yes, we have done this with other devices like Sonoff and Shelly, but in this particular case, for example, if I want to add another sensor, I could use the the raindrop sensor and add it right over here. I could also use the soil humidity sensor right over here. We could use the air pressure sensor and have all that info on a single board. And I'm just giving four examples, which is not easy to find on any other device. And also having in mind the prices that we will be able to achieve in these projects, which will be lower than ready-made solutions. And of course, this is open source source so we will find solutions for everything i will leave the link down below for this particular starter kit and having in mind that we can do a lot of projects for example i've seen some uh, like a radar which is really really cool we have seen some controlling drones as well self-driving cars zero gravity simulation voice control laser alarms and a lot more so for those of you that have used arduino or microcontrollers you know what this is for those that didn't now this is present on our daily life if we look at our car if we look at our refrigerator if we look at our washing machine if we look at anything it has a microcontroller the difference right over here and some of them are using arduino by the way but this one right over here it's open source so i can use it you can use it and it's easy to make small projects as this and it's not that difficult once we know how it works to create some more complex and fun projects and if you are watching this video on your windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official oim keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper and besides windows 11 pro if you are looking for windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our microsoft account you can use the same coupon code which will give you the best price possible at this moment so just in case the link will be down below but taking a look at this particular project it's really easy i'll try to share with you as fast and as best as i can but let's look at the screen for a moment i've got here the ide which is the software that will control the arduino so we have uh, this which is empty at this moment but for example on the starter kit there is an SD card, which is right over here. It has a lot of demo codes, uh, documentation, resources, software. The software, by the way, we can come right over here and install, or we can go to the site, the Arduino site. If we go to the web page, this is the main page, and then you can have a lot of info right over here. And you can also go to software and then just download the IDE at this moment, 2.3.2, which is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. So it's easy as this, and you will have the app right over here which at this moment is connected to my uno r4 wi-fi so looking at the sd card if we go to the demo codes we will use one to control the lcd screen so we are going to use this one right over here but for example if i want to use the soil moisture sensor i have it right over here the raindrop the lead matrix so there are demos right over here and of course if we search the web we will find a lot more demos created and a lot more projects created by the community so it's really easy to expand our projects now one of the things that i want to show you really simple project is if we go to the id and we have selected the board if i go right over here and to examples we have a lot that we can use let's go for a really simple one if i go right over here and select hello world this will give me a code which will display right over here whatever i want so 
at this moment it says that it will print hello world so if i press right over here it will start compiling and once it compiles it will take just a few moments once it compiles it will send all the info for the arduino and we will see the leds flashing right over there and once it finishes it's at 100 right now we will see hello world right over here but if i want to change to something else like my name i just uh, change the text right over here and it will compile the sketch and it will send to the uh, arduino and then the arduino will display on the lcd which at this moment should be i can't see but it should be roberto george right over there so this is just an example of a really simple project just displaying some info on a lcd but the project is made i don't need to know anything about programming but i will be able to read really easily what i can change this is the location of the lcd the address these are the characters and these are the lines for example so we can do a lot more i could write roberto on one line and george on the other line just to see how easy it is to display the temperature and humidity let's go to the folder where we have the demo codes right over here and if i select this one and open it up it will fire ide instantaneously like this and it will open the code now the code will have a lot of information which i actually don't need to know uh, a lot <laughs> and everything is here i just need to press play and well not play execute or up upload it will compile the sketch like it did for the hello world and now it will upload to the arduino board and we can see the leds flashing right over there it just flashed and now displaying the temperature and the humidity so it's as easy as this and this is a really simple project but if we want it we could add right over here the rain meter we could also add the soil moss to the air pressure so we could have a bigger project i could remove the um, lcd right over here and i could put it on a smaller box and then instead of sending the information to the lcd we could send it to home assistant and we have all the information on home assistant and then probably i will trigger water to turn on at certain conditions to water my garden for example or to water any agriculture station with strawberries or tomatoes or whatever we want so these are some of the applications real world applications that we could do with an arduino that we couldn't with any other bot open source now if you ask me okay robert so i purchased the starter kit and now i finished one project i applied on my home and it's communicating with home assistant now i want to use something that it's on a starter board and how should i do it i would say that okay you have enough devices right over here to build some projects so all you have to do is to purchase once you finish your first project to purchase uh, the board it costs about 30 years or so and you can grab that board implement the sensors that you want and there you go you have another project done but the objective of this starter kit in my opinion of course it is more for those that want to start on the electronic and want to start approaching to this world want to understand a little bit better how things work in terms of hardware in terms of coding how to program the hardware to do this and that if you have a youngster on the family for example that loves electronic electricity domotic and automatization then this is a really cool starter kit for that scenario that being said there are a lot of applications so i will not bother you more with that if you want to search a little bit more about arduino you will find a lot of information because there is a huge community around these projects hopefully this video was helpful to introduce this starter kit and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one <music>